The enemy is also at work. And, um, but praise the Lord that we have a greater power. Amen. Amen. And uh, yeah, that's good idea, guys. Can we move on forward here so we can uh, be closer together? Yeah. Yes. Well, welcome everyone to uh, Credit Code. And we're on to lesson number five. And our topic for uh, this afternoon is Angels and Demons. Wow. What a topic to talk about, eh? Angels and demons. Some people don't believe in angels or demons. How about that? But, you know, that's, that's the way it is. But uh, this afternoon we uh, have a, a very able speaker, uh, Luke, and um, we're looking forward to your presentation, Luke. And we pray that the Lord will bless uh, that you know, we will be here. Let's, let's open with prayer, shall we? Lord Jesus, we thank you so much for bringing us in here, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that as uh, we hear the message presented to us, that uh, we will keep our minds open, Lord, and that for your Holy Spirit to come in and help us to realize that, um, that what we are hearing from your Word, from your Word, Lord, is good for our, for, for our benefit, Lord, for learning, for instruction, for the man of God. That's what we are, Lord. We want to be your people. We claim to be Christians, your followers. So help us, Lord, to not just talk about it, but to actually live it, yes. to actually follow it, to actually do it. Yes. And so, Lord, we pray your blessing upon Brother Luke yes, sir. as he presents your message to us. And as we fellowship together, Lord, may we indeed have an experience with your Holy Spirit. We pray in Jesus' name. Wow, we are so blessed to have, who's up first? Ah, brother Bajan here with us, who's going to bless us with, uh, with a message in song. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah.
praise the Lord. Wasn't that beautiful? Uh, hallelujah. Now, as you, you know, when you're watching the TV, they, always, they do those show advertisement, and they always say, but wait, there is more. <laughs> and there is more. Uh, I'd like to welcome um, Tanya, uh, who also would like to praise the Lord and bless us with a message in song. Here I am waiting, abide in me, I pray. Here I am longing for you. Hide me in your love, won't you bring me to my knees? May I don't know where they hit the I got one. 
Ah, mi sbaglia. Io. Come gli sono? Sì. There was one more song that I had in mind, and it's 537. 537. And this one is all about, He leadeth me by His own right hand. He leadeth me. 537. So we get the power from back up again. Let's sing this song. Let's sing first one and first four.
Ah, he'll be good for me. Who's got a five to work? Who's got a five to come? Anyone got a five to come? 34. First and last. Yes. 34? Yeah.
upon the whole armour of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So there is a devil. Amen. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against principalities, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And I'm going to leave it there. You can go into further about wearing the armour of God to defeat the enemy, to defeat Satan. If you've got the victory through him. Amen. But this proves that there is a devil. There is evil in the world today. Okay, so there is a devil. Which means that there is a devil. Let's go further. Let's go a little bit further. I have, I've gone through this particular book a couple of times. <coughs> but yeah, it's just talking about that evil is out there today. And there's nothing that we can do about it. You can see, according to 1 Timothy chapter 3, that there's all these bad, horrible things happening in the end times. Men will be lovers of themselves. There will be a whole bunch of chaos going out there. And we're living in, in a world today that is before we know why violence, crimes, murder. You see it on the news every day, don't you? And there's all these bad things happening. Have you ever wondered, why does it exist? Why is there hatred? Why is there all these bad things happening around the world? Why does God allow bad things to happen to good people? Why is there so much suffering going on? Is it all God's fault? Do we blame God? Or is there another being to the Peter like the devil? As we already looked in Ephesians, there is a devil, good and bad. So the, yeah, so there is good and bad out there, and we can't stop it. I'll just go to this one. Evil is a byproduct, a component of creation in a world evolving into ever higher forms. Hatred, violence, aggression, and war. I've just read that. So if God isn't responsible for the bad things that we do, what are some of the bad things that we fall into? Okay, financial difficulties, debt, you're trying to get in employment and yet you can't get any. And you're praying to God so much that you really want to get a job and yet you've been not be able to get nothing. Who is behind all these bad things that's coming upon you? You're getting so much money in debt, you can't afford to pay your place that you live in. You can't afford that many things. Who is behind all this financial difficulty, financial strife? Is it God? Or is it the devil? So who is responsible for the evil on our planet? One, two, three, eight. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. So the devil is from the beginning, as we are aware. <clears throat> so according to the Holy Scriptures, the devil has always been there. He was in the beginning. Evil isn't a force, like some people reckon. It's just a force out there, something, you go to a medium, get some evil force, and it'll just happen, evil, bad things just happen. Many people just think bad things just happen, good things just happen. Yeah, but is that really true? What is a devil called? There's some symbolic things 
used in the Bible to describe the devil. What are they? Serpent? Dragon. Dragon? Lucifer? Lucifer? So the great dragon was cast out the serpent of of called the devil and Satan. Did you know that in the beginning, Satan, or Lucifer, but back in those days, on the earth, as a snake, deceived Eve, then Adam. The first sin, his pride got in the way. He took Eve into eating the apple. And even today, he's tricking a lot of people, deceiving many, many people out there to today. The devil is a snake, a dragon. Speak, speaking posture, speaking all these bad things upon people's life. He wants you to think negative thoughts. Why do you think it's an everyday, a, neg a bad negative thought enters your head? As a believer in Christ, we need to feed us all positive influences, positive thoughts, hang around positive people, not put us down with negative, negative, negative all the time, should we? So I've already said it, and you've already said it, what's another name for Satan? So, the son of the, of the morning, Lucifer. That name means the light bearer. The name Lucifer means light bearer. But of course, as we can go into, he's a false light bearer. He can be a lie to deceive many people in the world. That they will not go after truth, but after error. And we must decide what we're going to follow, truth or error. Satan, Lucifer, or the true Jesus Christ. He is the adversary and he is the slanderer, Lucifer is. He wants to put you down, but Jesus wants to pull you up. So is the devil a created being, or has it always been there? You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created till iniquity was found in you. So the devil was created. He was created. He hasn't always been there. Since the beginning, he was there. God created that, that, that snake when the, all the other snakes were made. So what did God make snakes for? Why didn't God make insects? He could have let them out. Lucifer was created by God as a perfect angel, sinless, the most beautiful angelic being you could ever see. He was beautiful. Lucifer was a beautiful angel. Lucifer was stunningly beautiful, bright and perfect in wisdom. That's what Ezekiel 28, 12 to 15 says. But because God is love, the last thing he wants is to be worshipped and obeyed out of force of fear. God does not force us to worship him. God does not force us to worship him. We do it because we want to worship him, because we love him. <coughs> What was the original sin that Lucifer committed? Pride. Are you happy with the answer? What was the first sin that he committed, Lucifer? Satan? Pride? Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. Your, you corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. For you have 
have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will be like the most high. What does that sound like to you? Why? He wants to be God. He thinks he's better than God. And the devil has planted that thought in you and me to die. We want something more. We want to be God. We want to be more than God. We want to take things into our own hands. We want to do we want to do more. We're not content with what we do. We want to exceed in greatness. Exceed in love. Prosperity. We want it all, don't we? If we're not in Christ, of course. That's how people think. They want more. Their pride gets in the way. Even the teaching that we are God is being taught in today's world, in most Christian churches, since we're made in God's image. The same that we are now God. That's being taught right now. The devil is trying to deceive even the elect, even the believers in Christ. Pride is getting in the way. Sin, pride, Lucifer. So what happened in heaven when Lucifer opposed God? And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, being Satan with her. And the dragon and his angels fought. Can you see war in, in heaven? Yeah. Before anything else, Lucifer was, was kicked out. Because he wanted to have war with God, to be greater than God. In the very beginning. But this is what happened when the devil fought against the loving God. The conflict is the central issue of the entire prophetic code of scripture. Good versus evil. <coughs> Truth against lies versus lies. It's up to us. Are we going to have truth or lies? Are we going to go after light or darkness? Are we going to go after good or evil? Jesus Christ or Satan? Are we going to have love or hate? I just wanted to go a bit further into the, what we, into the scripture here. Just have to tell me a bit more. Because we've seen that it used. I just want to go to our first Thessalonians 4, 13 to 7, 18. Revelation 12, verse 7 says, And there was war in heaven, and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought 
and these angels. And to go to First Thessalonians 4, from verse 15, For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord, so not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a son, with the voice of the archangel. What we just read about in Revelation. With the trump of God, which we were singing about in that hymn, the trump of God. Jesus is coming soon. The dead in Christ will rise first on the glorious day. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. We will comfort one another with these words. Michael the Archangel, according to the end times here, the Archangel, the trumpet sun, is going to be blind. The coming of Christ is nearer. See, Jesus Christ is coming back with the voice of the Archangel. He is coming back for you and for me, for all those that have given their lives to Jesus. Those that have given their lives to His truth and not error, to Jesus and not Satan, to love and not hate, to good and not evil. The heart of this war, and still this worship, we are happiest when we worship only God. That's verse 20, verse 3. When Jesus came to earth, the devil failed in his attempt to get Jesus to worship him. What's the greatest commandment? You shall love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength. And love your neighbour as yourself. Thy hand on the whole entire law and the prophets. Loving God with all your heart. Loving your neighbour as yourself. It's a piece of, of how we obey Him. Doing what He wants us to do. Following His commandments. It's all about worship. Who are you going to worship in the end times? Jesus or Satan? Truth or lies? So the great dragon was cast out, and his angels were cast out with him. Mm. So because of pride, Lucifer was kicked out of heaven. Mm. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God is love? You all agree? Yes. Amen. Or well, sin. God is love. And you can read the whole of 1 Corinthians 13. God is love. God is all these things. God does not boast. Love does not boast. Love does not put down. It does not envious. It encourages you. It builds you up. Love. Without love, you're nothing. You're only a clanging symbol. Without love, you're nothing. Everyone needs love. So how did our planet get involved in Satan's rebellion? And the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. Who does the serpent deceive the who? The woman? Yes. We're not putting the blame on these females out there. <coughs> Is the first woman. But the woman was tricked first. Yet the guy followed through, but we always do what they say. <laughs> to, to keep on the right side. Why is that? Ask any husband, they always do what the wife says to, to keep them happy. Is that right? We're not going to say this. <laughs> but yeah, that's how everything happened. Because you have done this, the Lord said to the woman. What did she do? 
What did the woman do? She disobeyed God by believing in the devil's lies. I said, I the apple. When we believe in the lies of the enemy, we disobey God, we go in for it, we eat it. We act upon what the devil wants us to do, we disobey God. Who does the devil now attack and hate the most? And the dragon was enraged with the woman, and he went to make war with the rest of her offspring, who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So, the devil went to make war with the woman. With God's church. To keep his commandments, God's commandments, and have the faith of Jesus Christ, the testimony of Jesus Christ. That's who God hates. That's who the devil hates the most. Not God. God loves them. The devil hates us though. He really hates us. So we want to obey God. And we, when you really give your life to Jesus Christ, that devil hates it. Who loves to get the devil mad? Who loves getting the devil mad? It's awesome, man. It's awesome to get the devil mad. Keep on pursuing Jesus Christ. Keep doing what he wants you to do. Keep following him. Having his faith, having his testimony, doing his commandments. Keep it up. The devil hates it. And because the devil hates it, he's going to make it very, very hard for you and for me to obey him. It's going to make it very, very hard for us to obey him and to have faith in, in him in our daily walk. It's going to make it very hard. There have been many, many believers that have been persecuted and put to death because they wanted to follow after Christ. There have been many believers that are suffering right now in today's world because they want to follow him, Christ, Jesus. They're putting, being put to death, being put in prison, they're being tortured right now as they speak. Because they want to follow him and do what God says. So they're being tortured for it. So keep your faith up, keep doing what God wants you to do. What is the major goal of the devil? The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life, and that they may have it more abundantly. So God came to steal, kill, and destroy, and the devil came to give life. No, no. Oh, it's the other way around. The devil came to kill, steal, and destroy. God came to give life. Amen. Amen. Two amens. The devil came to steal, kill, and to destroy. God came to give life. Amen. 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 Yeah, that's better. <laughs> okay. So, right <coughs> from here. What is the devil's major weapon against God's people? You are of your father, the devil. There is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. You are of the father of the devil. Who, who is God speaking to here? The devil follows. Yeah. And who's that? Who is following the, the devil? The liars. And someone else is not speaking, please. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to get others to yeah. <laughs> Who is of the Father? The devil. All those that are what? Yeah, that His followers. Are not following Jesus. And there's many people that are not following Jesus or his choice. There's many people that do not want to follow God and are faith in, in him. Once you give your life, <coughs> your entire life to Jesus, you are no longer of the devil. Amen. You are Amen. alive. Amen. You cannot kill, steal, or destroy you, the devil can. Because God, Jesus, gives you life. 
and life more abundantly. Amen. Abundantly. So he called the devil, what did he call the devil? Lie. The father of all lies. So, can the devil be good? <laughs> and no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. So the devil can be good. And From a level. So that if you go even deeper, the devil, the devil still believes in Jesus as well, as he knows that Jesus exists. So that the devil could be saved. He could be. Could be, that's it. Not but he's not, is he? He knows that Jesus exists. He knows that there is a truth out there. He knows that there is a truthful God. But what does the devil want? He wants to replace the truth with his truth. <laughs> and he wants to get his truth out in the world today. There's two kinds of truth out in the world. God's truth and the devil's false truth. Which many professed believers, even today, call him truth. Truth. There's many false truth out there that is being called truth. So what are you going to follow? The truth? God's holy word? Or the devil's false truth. So what are some of the key tactics used by the devil? <coughs> Misquote the Bible in order to deceive. This would be in the Christian search In the Christian church, this must be one of the key factors. Misquoting the Bible, giving us watered down gospel, only giving the congregation what they want to hear. Misquoting the Bible, twisting the scripture is happening in a lot of Christian churches today. Not all of them, but in most of them, yes. You have to be careful with what you hear from the pulpit. Are we going to stick to what the Bible says and go out to Tina and his truth? Keep on following him, doing what he wants us to do, having his faith? Or are we going to believe the misquotes, believe the heresies, the false teaching being taught at the pulpit? God's truth or the devil's truth? True lies. It's not lies. It's not true. It's lies. Yes, as believers in Christ, the devil is lies. But in the Christian church, in the Christian church, people are calling it truth. So there's two kinds of truth out there: the real truth or the false truth. And it's up to us to decide what one is following: God or the devil in today's church. Yeah? Persecutes God's search to disguise their faith. Mm. Yeah. Because we want to follow God, keep His commandments, and have His faith in Jesus Christ. Many people are going to persecute us. Persecution will most probably come from outside of the Christian faith. But persecution will even come from within the Christian faith. That's why there's so many different types of denominations. I'll be speaking about that at a later date. I can't get into that topic yet, sorry. Why there's so many different denominations, different sources. That's my last topic in a four weeks' time. So, the devil, an angel of light, with his false toy that many believers are starting to call toy. The devil is going to persecute, fear other believers as well, to persecute God's holy church, to persecute all those that want to obey God, keep his commandments, and continue to have the faith in Jesus. 
And that has happened in the 21st century. And it is still happening in today's world. <coughs> Performs miracles to deceive and to false religion. I believe in miracles. I am a, a miracle. Amen. And I'm sure we are all miracles. Amen. But there will be false miracles out there to deceive and to false religion. False miracles, false signs and wonders. Not just the Christian church here, we're talking about outside of the Christian church too. But there will be different kinds of miracles, signs and wonders happening, false Christ appearing. We must be guided and we must be led into all these truths. <coughs> we must know from God's word. In Isaiah 8.20, it does speak not according to this way. It is because there is no light in them. They must be according to God's word right? because there's no light in them. I believe it's Isaiah 8.20. I, that's, yeah. It is? Anyone who me up there? Thank you. Be there. <laughs> Satan works through and impersonates false pastors to deceive. Not only false pastors, but even pastors themselves in many different Christian services. Yes. There's many different denominations, many different truths that people follow. Are you going to follow the truth of God's word, or are you going to follow a watered down gospel truth? Are you going to follow a truth that isn't being preached properly at the pulpit, that's being twisted? Satan wants wants good pastors to twist God's word, to deceive the elect. And that's happening right now, as we, as we speak, and right now in, in most of the other services. A twisted person of God's message is being presented. Satan wants to bring pain and deceive to disguise and blame God. Demon possession to take full control. The demon process is happening everywhere. Traps us into sin. <clears throat> the devil does. We fall into sin every day. Romans 3.23, we're all sinners. We all fall into sin. We're all from sin. And what is sin? Transgressing against God's law, one time. One twenty three says, transgressing against God's law. So how do we resist sin? How do we overcome Satan? Therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen. So submit to the devil, flee from God, and he will what? Submit. Can you say that again, please? Submit. No, the whole one. Therefore submit to God. Oh, to God, is it? You submit to God. And what, and what will happen? Resist the devil and he will flee from you. So you resist the devil, what will the devil do? Flee. Flee. In the name of Jesus, we have to flee. Okay. In the name of Jesus, the devil has to flee. Amen. Put on the whole armour of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So what happens? to the devil and his angels, Nathan. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, depart from me, you cursed, into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Mm. Not for, and for the devil and his angels, is it? <clears throat> How does God feel about the destruction of the wicked? So that's the, the wicked here. All those that are opposed to God, to Jesus. All those that do not put their faith in Jesus. Say, say to them, as I live, says the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his ways and live. Turn, turn from your evil ways, for why should you die, O house of Israel? So key, con key conclusions. God is a God of hate. Oh, sorry, God is a God of love. Mm -hmm. Who 
Who created beings with the power of free choice? All agree? Yes. Free choice? Yes. Evil began in heaven when Lucifer chose to rebel against God. Yes. A great conflict exists between Christ and Satan. Mm -hmm. The central issues of the conflict are love, worship and obedience. Planet Earth is now the centre stage for the conflict. Mm -hmm. yes. The reason we have suffering and death is due to the evil of Satan. Yes. Sin will not be finished, eh? Soon. So soon has you're, you're awake, that's good. <laughs> Sin will soon have finished its course. The devil will be destroyed, destroyed and sin will never, never return. Is that, is that good news? Yeah? yeah? Why is it important that you understand the devil is a real being? So we're not deceived. Why is it important that you understand the issues of the great conflict between Christ and Satan? Because you want to be ready for the great day, the last trumpet, <coughs> the dead in Christ will rise first, the new is their life, and man will be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. Amen. And we will be with the Lord forever and forever. Amen. Have you found any effective ways to resist the devil? And if you have, what are they? Don't swear. Don't swear. Don't swear. Did you not speak according to the word? That's not eight twenty. Not speaking according to God's word or to the testimony of Christ. It is because there's no light in them. Mm -hmm. So stick to the word. Amen. Stick to God's word. <coughs> Are there any areas in your life where you feel the devil has had a hold over you? And would you like to give them over to Jesus for victory to die? Amen. And if you do, <coughs> we won't do it. We won't embarrass you out here today. But if you, you do feel that there are areas in, in your life where you feel the devil has had a hold over you and you want to get these problems over to Jesus today, mm. please see us after the service to um, Nonny or... Yeah, he, he, was, he will be very glad to speak to you. Maybe not just money, but anybody else might want to, might want to um, talk to someone else here. Go for it. So the devil is symbolized in the Bible as a dragon and a snake. <coughs> God did not create a devil, he created a perfect angel called Lucifer. <coughs> Satan does not know the scriptures very well. Oh. He knows the scriptures. And he trembles. He knows the scriptures very well. That's his, his way to twist them and to deceive us. The devil wants to give you a happy life. Woohoo! And Jesus wants to make sure you have your life boring. Is that right? Satan wants to give you a kill. He wants to kill, steal, and destroy you. Jesus wants to give you life. Abundantly. Abundantly. Amen. Amen. God gives you a free choice. Because He loves you. He loves you? Amen. So what's the whole response today? God loves you with an everlasting love. At a time when many in the world have fallen for the lies of the devil and rejected the love of God. Would you choose to die, to love, to worship, and to obey Him, Amen. Jesus Christ? Amen. Amen. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. 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 No, we're not going to come back tonight, this is 45.
<laughs> but if you want, could we sing this song? Last song, and then we'll call it a night. Last song. And then I'll put it to you and yeah.